We were really honored uh, to be asked to come to the Oregon Wine Experience and we really didn't know what to expect. Remember uh, Trish asking Miles, well, what are you gonna wear? And he goes, well, you know, I was thinking about a button up shirt, but I have a tux. And she goes, wear the tux. I'm like, really, are you sure? I'm like, she's like, nope, wear the tux, Miles. So he's like, okay, I'll wear my, do you want me to wear the yellow bow tie? Yes, that would be great, okay. He was just so excited and then, just through the nature of his story, a lot of people recognized him. So there was a lot of people, and so many of you in the crowd that are probably uh, here again tonight, just um, saying hi to him and thanking him. And, and that meant a lot to Miles. And then he got to go up on the stage and I, you know, every time, thank you, Donald Smith. And he would go, thank you, Donald Smith. And, um, but I, I do think he was moved when it was the match Miles and, you know, probably 75% of the crowd stood up. His legacy has grown. We've had messages from all over the world of, you know, how, how people are giving back, but also choosing to, you know, live each day to the fullest and remembering um, just the spirit that Miles had. Every time somebody donates to the Asante Forward Foundation, we get a little uh, card in the mail. Some weeks we'll get where there'll be a stack, you know, that thick. Some weeks we'll get one, but usually every week we'll get at least, you know, a one or a handful of them. Miles has always loved Legos. Um, he and his brother have built them forever. Um, it was the source of many arguments when they were younger because Carter would have the immaculate, you know, 500 piece ship and then Miles would accidentally break something. And so even up until just a few weeks before he passed, he was working on, you know, finishing up some Lego sets um, and that he had been gifted. When Miles' um, birthday rolled around, my sister-in-law really helped um, make this happen. And to be honest, at that point, I was, I was a little fatigued and I know like, okay, I should make this happen. And so she, you know, just put it out there and the response was incredible. Um, that I, it just absolutely incredible, overwhelming. And so we gathered all the Legos up and we were able to put yellow ribbons on them to signify brain cancer and then also a card so that the person would know when they received this Lego set who it was in honor of. And it was in honor of him and we gifted a mini sets to the Asante Foundation. There's somebody who wants to gift their ability to name a room um, to you guys. And so uh, that was just incredible. Um, and not just that, but we also got to look at a map and, and figure out which room, you know, which, are av which available room could we choose. And I remember when Miles toured the hospital, the hard hat tour of the new hospital with his friends, there was a couple of rooms that he was really excited about. I remember him looking around just, this is gonna be great, you know? And so we were able to name, um, one room, which is the ch child life quiet room um, in honor of Miles John Isbell. And so um, also both, my understanding is both he and his brother, their story um, will also be featured in the hospital so people can learn about them. And, you know, I imagine another mom like me walking around the hospital reading that, and, you know, that just is really inspiring to me. And Miles was pretty sick. He was not feeling good. Um, and he had been, you know, experiencing chemo and, and we knew that his, his cancer was back again. And he was just trying to live the best summer he could. And, and he gets out there and again, he doesn't show a lot of emotion, um, just happiness. And his pig goes out there and sells for one time. Um, then they sell it again for a second time. And then they sell it again for a third time. And by the third time, Miles is out there, you know, kind of looking like I am right now, just <laughs> crying. and. So eventually the pig sold for over $50,000. Um, and Miles gave a very large percentage of that back to the Asante Foundation. Um, so if there's a match Miles this year at the Oregon Wine Experience, I think it's gonna be a little more than the, you know, 1,200 of, of last year. But um, if an 11 year old can give that much of their profit, you can too.